Hi everyone, it's Bob and Fran with some really important information to expose the truths about healthy aging myths. We don't want you to miss any of the content we've prepared for you, so we will be reading parts of it word for word. And please think about taking some notes. And we've saved the best and most asked for one as the last of 10 myths. So let's get right to the first one right now. The first one is our government's standard American diet, that's SAD, should be followed for optimal health and longevity. Is myth that a myth? Or reality? Or, what well, is it? I say it's a myth. In fact, according to acclaimed physician and researcher, Dr. Michael Greger, the number one cause of death and disability in America is our diet. In our opinion, the SAD, S-A-D diet, with meat and dairy being components, is unhealthy because it contains far too much fat and chemicals. We choose to eat a whole food plant-based diet as it is much healthier. I think you just busted that myth. Okay. So number two on our list of myths is to be old is to be physically weak and frail. So is that fact or fiction? We say fiction. Well, we believe that you keep your if you keep your body moving, you can stay strong and fit as you age. And the Center for Disease Control is that what it is? CDC. CDC, yeah, agrees with this. So we are proponents of daily stretching and walks to help you build muscle mass, stay flexible, and improve your bone density. We add to that chair exercises with and without weights to strengthen our core and upper body. And we do the chair exercises every other day. Right. Uh, it only takes about 15 minutes or so. And we but, try to do it before a meal, you yeah. know, like before lunch or before dinner. Yeah, but uh, we found that it's been a real help to keep our upper body and our core nice and, nice and uh, firm and strong. A daily exercise can also help to reduce your blood pressure and symptoms of anxiety and depression. Physical activity may help manage some chronic conditions as well. Exercise and physical activity are not only great for your mental and physical well-being, but it can help keep you independent as you age. Qigong and similar mind-body movement practices have also shown to improve your balance and stability in older adults. And this can help maintain your independence and prevent future falls as well. And like we always say before starting any exercise routine, consult with your physician. And maybe have your physician exercise with you. That's a good idea. If you'll join in. <laughs> so number three in our list of myths is my genes determine my health. Is that true or Def is that false? Definitely false. So many people assume that their lifespan and health will be similar to that of their parents. But Dr. Greger's extensive research indicates that only five to 10% of what happens to us is because of our genes. And even those genes can be rewired with a change in diet and lifestyle. You know, there's another book called Live Long, Die Short by a Dr. Roger Landry. In that book, he says that 70% of how we age comes down to lifestyle choices, and we really agree with that. So that includes eating right, getting plenty of sleep, not smoking, limiting your alcohol consumption, and getting regular exercise. They all play a bigger role in our overall health and longevity than do genetics. Right. So number four is depression and loneliness are normal in older adults. Is it myth or reality? What do you say, Fran? We say myth. 
In fact, recent studies show that older adults are less likely to experience depression than young adults. Some people as they age may find themselves feeling isolated and alone, and this can lead to a feeling of depression, anxiety, and sadness. You know, this is really though not a normal part of aging. Growing older can have many emotional benefits, such as long-lasting relationships with friends and family and a lifetime of memories to share with loved ones. So what can we do to lower the risk of depression and help us cope? The National Institute on Aging suggests these steps that you can take. Number one would be to try to prepare for major changes in your life, such as your retirement or your moving your home of many, you know, from your home that you've lived in maybe for many years. The second one would be to stay in touch with family. Let them know that you are sad at times. Regular exercise like walking may also help prevent depression and lift your mood, mood if you are depressed. Pick something you like to do and keep doing it. And being physically fit and eating healthfully may help avoid the illnesses that bring on disability, uh, disability or even depression. So number six, or I'm sorry, number five, I don't want to skip ahead to the last one yet, but number five is the older I get, the less sleep I will need. Is that a fact or is that fiction? Again, that is fiction. As people age, some may have more difficulty falling and staying asleep, but it's a common misconception that needed sleep declines with age. Older adults require the same amount of sleep as younger adults, seven to nine hours each night. And getting adequate sleep keeps you healthy and alert and improves your overall mental well-being. And it can also help lower your risk of falling because you're not tired. Let's move on to number six. As you age, you lose your ability to learn new things. Is that true or false? Well. We think it's very false. According to Harvard Medical School, which I did not attend, but I read that learning patterns in older adults may change and speed of learning may be reduced, but the basic capacity to learn remains intact. Trying to learn new skills may even improve cognitive abilities and keep your brain sharp. For example, well, when we created this YouTube <laughs> channel, that yeah. was uh, uh, a high learning curve. For sure. But it did keep our brains sharp, and hopefully our brains are still pretty sharp. <laughs> so moving on to number seven. As you get older, you get set in your ways, and you cannot change. Is that myth, or is that reality? And I say it's a total myth. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? <laughs> Even though some seniors may be resistant to new ideas, studies have established that our brains continue to develop through and beyond middle age. Not only can seniors learn new things, but it's beneficial to make learning a lifelong pursuit. Scientists say that unlike kids and young adults, the best way for seniors to learn is not to reinforce what they already know but to challenge long-held beliefs and assumptions and view things from different perspectives. Yeah, I think that's really important. Moving on to number eight, the myth is it's inevitable that older people will get some form of dementia. Fact or fiction? Again, fiction. fiction. It is not inevitable. According to the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, plant-based foods are beneficial to the brain and may help prevent Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia. A decline in brain health is not an inevitable part of aging, but how we eat and live can help us protect our memory and stay sharp into old age. So we personally follow a whole food plant-based diet as it works to promote brain health. 
Number two on this, we also advocate and follow a daily ongoing regimen of exercise for good overall health. Next, calming your mind with a mindfulness practice, including daily meditation and qigong or similar, or a similar mind-body activity would be very beneficial. Number four, living an engaged and active life. Same, staying active, uh, I think it's really important, yes. And finally, uh, mentally challenging yourself by being a lifelong learner. This is all about starting preventative methods now instead of waiting. waiting. Yeah, so number nine. When you get older, you should dress and act your age. True or false? Gosh, seriously false, knowing you. What do you have to say about that? We probably all remember how our grandmothers used to dress with shapeless old lady <laughs> clothes and ugly shoes and wearing their hair in a bun. And they, you know, they just looked old. I remember my grandmother was only 65 when she died, but she looked like an old lady. Yeah. We feel it's important to take care in how you look and dress and not let yourself go as you age. It's perfectly acceptable for you to wear whatever makes you feel good about yourself. That's all that comes through. This goes for your hairstyle and makeup too. Don't let others dictate what is right or wrong for you. Do what feels good. I like that. So now, ta-da, number 10. <laughs> you ready myth, for this one? The myth is, as people get older, they lose interest in sex or, and or intimacy. Is that a myth or is that a reality? So I assume right now some of your younger folks are saying, oh no, my parents don't do that. Well, it's a myth. <laughs> a 2017 University of Michigan National Poll on Healthy Aging established that 65% of respondents aged 50 to 80 were interested in sex. 76% agreed that sex is an important part of a romantic relationship at any age, and 40% indicated they were still sexually active. I don't think we were part of that poll. <laughs> no, they didn't poll yeah, us. <laughs> but we're right in there with these other people. We personally feel that intimacy and sex are very important factors in being young, regardless of your age. This would include touching, hugging, holding hands, and making love in any form that is comfortable for you and for your partner. We believe that if it feels good and makes you happy, do, do it. it. And if you have a serious health issue, you really should talk to your doctor about it as it relates to sexual activity. So there you have it. We hope you have found this helpful and will implement some of these ideas and some of our suggestions. Uh, we would love to hear from you, so please comment in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts, and uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, that would be uh, really important for us. Uh, we'd appreciate it very much. So we look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye, Bye for now. now.